Hey Leo, Mariah here. I'm gonna go ahead and get into your love reading for the month of February and we'll see what's happening. So let's pull out the first card, okay. We have repression. Someone does not express how they truly feel. So either Leo, that's you or your person, okay? So we're gonna pull out the rest of the cards and see what's happening for your love life in February. One second, Leo. All right, so we have repression out. Let's see how Leo is feeling in regards to love for the month of February for my Leos. Who is this person? Or if it's you, I wonder what's going on here. Because somebody's not expressing whether it's you or somebody that you'll be meeting or dealing with. But with the hermit here, Leo, it feels like you've kind of been on your own solo journey. You've been focusing on you a lot. You've been focusing on the things you want. You don't want conflict. You don't want drama. And you're in a new start in your life. Will of Fortune. So I love this because this I'm speaking to a Leo who's done a lot of healing, a lot of soul work that's been on their spiritual journey, that's been on their spiritual path. You've been clearing karmic debt. You've been trying to clear out the drama and the people that should not be in your life. You have been removing them left and right. There's no question or doubt about it. Not with that two of pentacles in reverse. You are very solid that whoever is in my life now after going through this healing process or going through my spiritual journey, whoever's left in my life now is meant to stay. But somebody's repressing their feelings. So tell me the energy surrounding Leo in love for February. The king of pentacles. So earth's sign or somebody with earth placement doesn't have to be but the energy is just here may I have two more who's surrounding my leos so chariot in the reverse cancer energy and one more so it's not you repressing your feelings leo you feel very certain and sure about what it is you feel because again you are in this energy of overcoming a spiritual journey or going through a spiritual journey your energy on the bottom strength you're in this energy of overcoming whatever you needed to come or heal from, whatever it is you needed to heal from. But whoever this is with this King of Pentacles, this is somebody that they're very practical minded, very practical focused, focused on their daily world, their routines, things that they got going on. That may be a struggle. They may be uh, trying to keep up appearances financially, or maybe they have a lot of debt, but they're still on, on the outside though. They still look like they're intact, but they may be dealing with financial issues or struggles, or maybe they're dealing with stress in their life. Whatever this burden is though, with this 10 of wands, it's preventing movement towards you with this charity in the reverse. Cause I do see that their energy is open. They're not defensive towards you. They're not wanting to be guarded towards you or block their energy off from you. But whatever this, stress is with this ten of wands is preventing them from coming towards you and i think that's why we have repression here because in their energy they can't really do much so let's see how you'll feel about this person leo ace of pentacles how will leo feel about this person seven of pentacles in the reverse and one more ace of wands oh you got two aces on your end so this is kind of the story for you though, Leo. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this may be somebody new for some of you guys, or this may be just a new start with someone. Either way though, you see a lot of opportunity here. Security, stability, sexual attraction, sexual magnetism. I do think you are wanting to get something up and off the ground and rolling with this person. It feels like you want to get something moving with this person but the thing is it's the seven of pentacles in the reverse see mind you leo you've done the spiritual work or you've done your healing and your thing is you don't want to invest not only your sense of stability security and vulnerability into a person but you also don't want to um you know invest energetically into a person if they're not investing back in you. And I'm seeing that with the seven of coins here because on their energy, they're tied up with something or they're stressed out or they may have a lot on their plate or a lot going on in their life right now. So you're seeing this person as a great opportunity, but you don't want your investment to go to waste. You don't want to be the only one that's sincerely investing in this person or in this connection or in the situation as much as you would like to. And then you can't have it reciprocated back to you. That's the, what's the point of that? That's wasted effort, right? So your feelings is really solid here, but you already know what you want, what you don't want. And if it's anything that's going to bring you drama, hassle, or conflict, you're just like, I want to stay away from that. I don't want to go towards that. 
but yet still you would like to the desire is here but i think you have more will and more strength than to you know just hop into something with somebody because you want to despite you know their inability to give back so let's see how is this person feeling towards you or how they will feel towards you leo how is this person feeling towards leo ten of cups how is this person feeling towards leo or how will they feel towards leo two more spirit thank you seven of cups and one last one thank you Nadic. wow yeah and then again your energy on the bottom of the deck the queen of wands so they find you extremely attractive that very charismatic maybe a little spunky um you have a lot of charisma even if you are a bit more introverted or a bit more shy there's still a glowing light that eludes from you and then this person's feelings they would like to have something long term they're looking for a solid relationship. I think this person as well is fantasizing with the Seven of Cups and Ten of Cups. What would life be like, right? What would, you know, our daily dynamic look like? Who goes to work? Who watches the kids? How will we get things set up? What do I have to do to be able to provide for Leo? And how would this um, work out? How do we coexist together? But in a very positive way, right? Thinking of the future. This person is future forward thinking, Always thinking of the future, thinking 5, 10, 15 years down the line. That's the Ten of Cups here. The thing about it is this Knight of Cups is in the reverse. So as much as they feel this, again, they're still not moving forward or towards you in their energy. They want, it's like, all I, this person feels like all they can do is really daydream or fantasize or think about what I can have with Leo. But I can't really have anything with Leo at this time. So I want to see what is the mutual blockages between these two. Okay, Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and one more. What is the mutual blockage between these two? And it's interesting because on their side, they got the King of Pentacles, and now we got the Queen of Pentacles here in the blockage along with the Eight of Wands. Um, either, Six of Cups, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Either this person, whoever you're dealing with, they're they're either in a relationship or they are married, right? And the blockage here is if they are thinking about all this with you, they haven't told their wife or communicated to their wife or spouse or husband that they're wanting to transition or and leave the connection or marriage, right? If that's not the case, say that they aren't with anybody because I am getting a strong like either this is their like this is a soulmate for them or this is somebody that they known for years, maybe even back to childhood. And even if it's not that long, this is somebody that they do have a deep connection with. But if this isn't somebody and you know that this isn't somebody that's committed or tied, then this more so feels like this person wants to have movement with you. The thing about it is maybe they have kids, the kids or the child's mother may be getting in the way or the child's father may be getting in the way. Maybe they feel like they have to give a lot of their time and responsibility to their children so they can't really enact on this connection. Um, also, too, there may be a woman figure, whether this is a mother, whether this is a boss or a manager, they could be tied up with their work situation right now despite feeling a soulmate connection and wanting to have movement with you. You know, they may be in line for promotion or they may be in line for something with work and maybe they can't move or they can't relocate it or they can't travel to see you. Um, there's somebody here, though. There's a physical being that's here. And I think that's what's causing this person stress. But it does feel like more than anything, most of, for mo most of you or a lot of you, this is another person that's in the mix here. Yep, with that temperance on the bottom, there is another person in this mix here. So what I want to do here, Leo, before we take this over into the extended, I want to see what this person's intentions are towards you. On the extended, we'll look at their actions, what you need to know, anything that they may be hiding. Um, we'll go deeper into their feelings and get some advice on the extended. So we have the death in the reverse. Tell me more, spirit. Temperance. Seven of Swords and the High Priestess. Justice is on the bottom with the Three of Wands. Yeah, it feels like there's somebody else here. If not, then again, there is still somebody else here, but it, maybe it's in the format of work. Um, 
your person, as far as their intentions, they don't want this to die out between you two. So even if you haven't met this person yet, this may be somebody that you're meeting and you end up, you know, as time plays on, finding things out. But this is somebody that doesn't want to let things die. They would like to have some form of connection or balance with you here. But it feels like they have to do it undercover with that justice being on the upright. Because there's something that they're either legally obligated to or contractually obligate, obligated to that's keeping them at a distance, three of wands, right? So it's like to their intentions is to sneak, if you will, high priest of seven of swords, to, you know, try to be with you, to see you, to come towards you. Like they would have to sneak around a situation or find an opportune time to come around to you, to try and visit you and see you or spend time with you or try to make this work with you, but they're not freed, not in their energy. So all they can really do is fantasize and think and wonder and want. But at the end of the day, there's still this blockage that's causing them stress that they can't really. They can on their own free will. I can never say somebody can't, but they're choosing not to remove this stress or blockage for whatever reason. So, Leo, let's take this into the extended. Let's see what's happening with you and this person in the month of February. Get some details. If you're joining me, the link is in the description box below. If this is where I leave you, Leo, please understand it's been an absolute pleasure to read for you. I absolutely love you. You be safe. You keep warm during this season. And uh, catch you on the next one. Bye.